Well, good morning. Welcome back to another edition of Anthony's Audio Journal. This will be a video episode, a short trip up to Mount P in San Marcos, California. Uh, right behind me is uh, Palomar Mountain College. It's a junior college here in uh, northern San Diego County. And uh, uh, there's a mountain right behind it with a giant P on it. I'll show it to you here in a second. Anyway, we're going to make a trip up to the top of Mount P. Uh, I've been looking at this P for 10 years. I've never been to the top. So this morning, uh, I'm going to take a real quick Right up there, it's a short hike. It's only about a two mile round trip hike, but it's uh, really steep. It looks like it's gravelly and loose. And uh, it's busy here this morning. And uh, I'll show you why they call it Pea Mountain, because the mountain's right behind me here in the background. You can see the pea emblazoned on the side with the rocks. Uh, I'm not sure really what it is, but I guess we're gonna find out when we get up there. Well, as you can see, that's why they call it Pea Mountain. Right across from Palomar College, big pea on the hill. It looks like it's just a pretty steep trail to the top. Let's go check it out. Hopefully we'll get a view on the other side of the ocean. We'll see. Uh, it's pretty gravelly and loose. And I'm wearing my, uh, my Luna sandals today. I don't know. It won't take that long. Probably an hour to get the top and back. Who knows? Maybe I'll see a coyote or a rattlesnake or a bobcat or something. You never know. Well, as I'm working my way up these switchbacks to Pea Mountain... I just want to show you something that I picked up yesterday. This is a pretty heavy, thick uh, wool jacket. This is a full zip jacket from uh, Smart Wool. Uh, I love the color. I love the feel to it. It's 80% wool, 20% nylon, just to give it a little bit of a stretch factor, I think. And uh, all the Smart Wool products are outstanding. Really expensive. This jacket retails for between $130 and $200. And I paid, are you ready for this? $3.50 at Salvation Army for this, actually Goodwill for this jacket. Washed it on Delicate Cycle in Woolite and uh, laid it flat to dry. It's like brand new. Fits me good. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. But starting to heat up in it already. The air blowing from the ocean feels good, but uh, it's definitely going to be warm today. For uh, the end of October, I can't believe it's this warm. I noticed a lot of a lot of mountain bike tracks, so this must be a pretty popular spot for the kids to come up. Uh, they have a little a little ravine here, a little gorge. Anyway, there's a lot of mountain bike tracks up here, so it must be a pretty popular spot for the kids. But uh, there's a little ravine here that made it difficult for the mountain bikers to run over. So looks like somebody took the time and effort to put this little makeshift bridge here to connect the trail from above. So that was kind of cool. Well, we're getting there. I can see the baseball field and a lot of the parking areas in the campus for Palomar College. Ocean's out that way. And it looks like somebody's parking pass has expired. Check that out. I don't know what's above us there. It must be a road of some kind. But our trail is heading steeply up the mountain. Hopefully we'll be able to get access to the P from this angle. I sure hope so. I hate to have to climb this for nothing. Well, the going's getting a little steeper and tougher. Brushes, <clears throat> brushes closing in. Hopefully this won't uh, end up at a stopping point. I see like a trail over there. Don't know where that goes. Guess we'll figure it out here in a minute. Well, I think I'm here. I think I'm at the top of Pea Mountain. It goes up a little more over here, but this is the area I'm looking for. Now I just gotta find the pea. Gotta be here somewhere. There's a whole myriad of trails all around here. and Key is gonna be finding the right path to get to the P. Since it faces this way, I'm assuming it's on this side. I guess we'll find out here in a minute. Well, here's a good shot from above the P. I know the sun is coming in from the east. See, it's probably washing it out, but gives you a pretty good overview. Cal State San Marcos is over there. 
Double Park, uh, Double Peak Park is up there on top. Actually, that peak over there is called Mount Whitney of all things, believe it or not, Mount Whitney, here in San Diego County. But uh, that's where I started. I parked over here in this housing track and I worked my way up these trails up to the top. I still yet to find the P. It's gotta be here somewhere. It's probably down here on the edge. I'm gonna keep scouting around for it. I'll run into it eventually. Well, I finally found the P. I think this is the P. It's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but uh, there's a spike down there. There's a trail of white right here. From this angle, it's kind of difficult to tell, but obviously the rocks are painted white, so it's a pretty good indication that this is, in fact, the P. And what's funny is Somebody was just here. Today's the 28th. Saul and Tatey, it looks like. So this must be the P. I thought the P was hollow in the middle. Maybe not. I'm going to have to get a better look at it. We'll try from a couple of different angles here to see if we can see the outline of the P. But this is probably the P right here. This is the the lower part of the P, and then the straight part goes down that way. So we'll uh, we'll see if I can go down and get another angle down here and see if this is any better. In fact, this is more part of the P right here. So looks a lot different from up close than what you would get from down below. I'm going to go down here and see if I can get a better angle. Looks like people have been signing the rock. I guess somewhat of a impromptu trail registry, I guess, here up on P Mountain. Let's check this one out. Let's see what this one says. This was from June. The Cisneros family. Another one from January. Gonna have to go down below and see if I can spot this rock from down below. It looks a little different from up here than it does from from down there. It took me about 45 minutes, I guess, maybe an hour. I took my time, took some pictures. I'm gonna go back up this way, work my way around the upper portion. I'm gonna go investigate that car that's over the side. The P from Palomar is way over on the other side of the peak here, but this is looking south. Actually, this is looking north and a little bit to the east. So it looks like there's a golf course over there. and You know, there's a car over here that went over the side near. Kind of curious how the hell they get up here. Well, now I know. There's a little fire road that comes up, accesses the peak from this side. So I'll go up here in a minute, see if I can get just a little higher up, get you a little better view. But this is from the top of that fire road. Uh, on the top of P Mountain. You know, I bet you there's a benchmark up here. I'm gonna have to look for it. It's probably higher up. Now here's a little better view of that vehicle that went over the side. I can't get too much closer. It's pretty steep down here and I'm, you know, I'm wearing sandals, so uh, not the best attraction, so I'm gonna leave it be. I could probably hop down there and get a little closer, but this is good enough. I'm gonna work my way back around and head back up for the top P Mountain.